All right, Reina, so you are here uh, after a week. I saw you last week for your headaches and twitching of your left arm, left thumb, right? Yes. yes. And so tell me the twitching. Um, actually, first I want to know how's that, and then I'll ask you more about the details. How's the twitching of your left thumb? Uh, the twitching actually has gone away. Okay. It stopped. And how's your headaches? Headaches have gone away as well. Okay. Good. All right. So can you tell me, because this is a follow-up visit, can you tell me last week the details of the twitching mm -hmm. of your left thumb? Yeah. For about three weeks or so uh, prior to that appointment, uh, my thumb would just start to twitch like multiple times throughout the day. It would just twitch. I wasn't sure what it was, but it would just kind of move on its own. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was concerned that maybe I was developing Parkinson's or something like that because Parkinson's does run in my family. Mm -hmm. um, and so I you know, wasn't sure what it was, but it went on every day, multiple times throughout the day for about maybe three weeks or so before I came in to see you. Right. And you are right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay. So along with the twitching, did you have any other symptoms, any tingling, numbness, or any other issues? Uh, not with my arm or my hand, just the thumb. Just twitching. the thumb was twitching. Was twitching. That's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you saw me last week and we did McKinsey intervention. I talked to you about posture mm -hmm. and you did mm -hmm. retraction. Can you show us how you did the exercise? Yes, I uh, ensured that my, pro my uh, posture was straight and then I uh, did the Exercises. You were doing the retraction doing exercises. The retraction exercises. And you drive almost an hour to come to work? I actually drive an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And I gave you a lumbar roll last time. Yes. And since then you've been using the lumbar roll yes. while you're driving, right? Yes. And I, I have meetings seven hours out of the day. Uh -huh. So I sit a lot. And, and are you using it and while I you're use it, And I okay. use it in the meetings. And then also I did the um, exercise probably you know, maybe every couple of hours I would do it. When I started to notice tension in my neck, mm -hmm. I would do it, um, do, you know, the 20 that you suggested right, that I did. Right, And that will take care of it. Mm -hmm. So after I saw you and you started doing the posture correction and the exercises, after how many days the twitching went away? The twitching went away immediately. Okay. That Good. same day. Oh, that same okay. day, I didn't, it didn't twit, it may be a couple of times after I saw you, but by the evening time, the it had stopped. The twitching was gone. I was surprised. Good. Totally shocked. Uh huh. And I had been having headaches. Right. For can about Can you tell three us months. more for the sake of people? Can you tell me more about your headaches? For how long you've been having these headaches? For about, well, I thought it was three months until you reminded me in my chart mm -hmm. from back in April, I believe. No, that I you had were in February. February. Okay. In February, <laughs> you were in ER. Yeah. For your left arm tingling and numbness and your chest pain. Yes. And at that time you were having some headaches too and you were admitted to the hospital right. for a chest pain workup. Mm -hmm. And here's the chart from February visit. This was February 26th. And you were having left arm chest pain, left arm tingling sensation lasting for several hours that day. Right. And that episode you had pain inside of your left arm, which went all the way mm -hmm. to your left arm, left shoulder, mm -hmm. left side of your chest, mm -hmm. left side of your trunk. And that day you had some neck discomfort and headache. Mm -hmm. And then what you told me that day was that you were having a bit of tingling sensation in the left arm while you were getting up, getting dressed that morning. Yes. And you drove, you drive one and a half hours and half hour into driving, you started having tingling sensation in the left fourth and fifth finger. Mm -hmm. And your left forearm, and that's when you got concerned and you went to ER because mm -hmm. you thought you were having a heart attack, right? That's correct. And so you were in the hospital for a day. We did a cardiac workup. We did all your blood work, EKG, and we also did a heart stress test because you do have diabetes mm -hmm. for last 20 years? Yes, 20 right. years. And so the stress test was normal. The reason I'm bringing that up is because that episode of chest pain and left arm tingling and numbness, and I think that's when you started having this headache because you shared with me you were having headache at that time, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So the headache in February, which you started having it, can you describe more about your headache? Uh, yes. 
um, what I would call a tension headache, but you know, pain in the temples and then also in the neck area. And you know, frequently I carry a lot of stress or tension in my neck area, uh -huh. and I feel that all the time. Anyway, right. right. Uh, but I just notice every morning I wake up with a dull ache, a dull headache, um, and it's and it's happened for months. And I, right. like I said, I forgot that I'd even reported that at that time. At that time, in the so, fe in February, you said about you said sinus headache. You were having yeah, that's right. Because I do have sinus issues. That's so that's what I thought it was. Right. But, right. You know, but so over the last six months, you've been having headaches. Has it been a daily occurrence? Or yes. Yes. Really? Every day. For how many hours? Uh, probably for an hour or so. I generally would notice it in the morning. Uh -huh. After actually, now that you mentioned, it, actually after when I would get into work in the morning. So uh -huh. after that drive, uh -huh. and then probably midday, one or two o'clock or so. Right. You know, and of course, I've sat in a number of meetings by right. then. That, you so, know, what did you what did you think of your headache? You've been dealing with it for the last six months. Well, I just I thought it was stress, you either sinuses was. or stress. Right, right. And so, did you take any medicine for it? Uh, sometimes I would take Tylenol. Uh huh. Uh, but most times I would just um, try to, you know, get because I thought it was stress related. Right. I started trying to walk in between meetings to try to get some kind of. Right. So you know what was happening when you were walking in between? That was making your headaches what better or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would help to relieve it. Right. So you know what was happening? It was because the headache was coming from your neck, mm -hmm. and so when you are standing up, your lordosis in your lower back comes up, and your neck is aligned in between the mm -hmm. shoulders. And when you are sitting in front of the computer, the neck is in that stressful situation, which is causing all this. Mm -hmm. That makes sense now. So uh, what I'm trying to connect all the dots are that your headache, which you call it tension headache or sinus headache or stress in your neck, actually this was coming all because of cervical derangement, which is a McKinsey diagnosis because of mechanical disturbance in your spine, because of your posture from years of working and driving, sitting, you know, that is what was causing the headache. And that is what caused the episode of chest pain and left arm numbness episode that day in February. And the same thing actually was causing the twitching of your left thumb. Okay. So it is the same McKinsey diagnosis which manifested in different ways in terms of your headaches or tingling sensation in the left arm and now this time you had twitching for three weeks, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I'm seeing you after a week. Um, how many days you did posture correction, you started using the roll in your car and at work. Uh, last week you did that and t twitching went, went away that same day. Yes. How many days did it take for the headache to get better? Uh, it took a couple of days. Okay. I, like by the third day, uh -huh. I didn't notice a headache. Right. So over the last uh, three or four days, have you had any headaches? No, I haven't. Cool. I'm glad everything has worked out. You don't have Parkinson's. I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs>